When J.W. Le Breton Ross arrived in Sault Ste. Marie to take over the position of superintending engineer of the world's first electrically operated lock, he brought more than a growing family. He brought ideas. Oh, it's lovely. Definitely needs a pedestrian walkway along the canal, places for people to sit. Such expansive grounds. Ethel, with the proper landscaping plan, this place could be quite pleasant. With wife Ethel and their four children, the superintendent's residence became a family home and a year-round social hub. Any reply yet? I've received permission to hire the gardeners. We're making these grounds into a showpiece for everyone to enjoy. Great news! And that he did. Le Breton Ross transformed the grounds of the Sault Ste. Marie Canal from a construction site into a parkland. He held his position for 29 years, a witness to the Perry G. Walker ramming and breaking the lower gates to the lock. Use of the grounds as a training camp for troops throughout World War I, the Great Depression. But it is his personal interests, a love of horticulture and history that has left a lasting legacy for the people of Sault Ste. Marie. All of us in the horticultural community, well, we were hoping you'll let us put your name forward as the first president. <laughs> Gladiolas are on the agenda tonight, correct? <laughs> correct.